All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Bullstrap's newest case for the 15 Pro Max. That's going to be their contemporary case. So starting off with the packaging, you got some Bullstrap branding on the front, luxury leather case. And on the back, it just goes over their warranty there. So we'll pop the case out of the packaging here. You get a nice pull tab up top. And on the inside of the box here, made from the highest grade of materials available, your Bullstrap iPhone case will come to life with age. Enjoy your journey. And you got a little enjoy your journey sticker and a QR code for the lifetime warranty. So that's one thing with Bullstrap cases. They are more expensive than, you know, your normal case or even your normal leather case. But it does come with multiple replacements and a lifetime warranty. So you get for, you know, you get what you pay for. Taking a look at the case itself. This is going to be their new contemporary case in this beautiful Sienna colorway. Definitely my favorite colorway by far. You have a Bullstrap logo on the middle there. You have your leather camera ring for your lens protection. And on the left side, you're gonna have your floating metal power button. On the opposite side, you have your floating metal volume up and down, as well as your action button there. On the inside of the case, you're gonna have that really nice soft felt lining. You have your MagSafe, some more bull strap branding. One thing I wanted to point out is you do get that soft felt lining on the backing of those metal buttons. So that will protect the frame of your phone, you know, from getting scratched or anything in case those metal buttons are making contact there. So very nice to see there. And the star of the show for the Bullstrap Contemporary case is they finally closed the bottom off. We've been asking for this for years now. If you guys have never used a Bullstrap case, I do have their previous style case here in that bourbon colorway so we have the previous style as well as the new contemporary style some of the key differences here if you guys can see this on the back the leather camera ring here is a little bit larger than on the sienna color the on, on the contemporary version here they're both for the 15 pro max so same actual camera size but the camera rings are going to be a little bit larger on the older model here taking a look at the sides the buttons are definitely different these are more tactile they're a little bit more I don't know how to explain it. They're, they're almost kind of more stuck in there, so they're not so loose as with the older style case here. So more more you know more tactile buttons on the new style as opposed to the old one that they were still tactile, but just not as clicky. Same thing with the volume up and down and the action button there. On the inside, you still have that soft felt lining. One thing that you don't have on the previous style is that soft felt lining on the buttons. It's kind of hard to see on this colorway here, but... It's just leather color covering the back of the buttons, which is fine. You know, it's not going to scratch a phone or anything, but it's just nice to see that little touch of the felt liner. And then on the bottom here, this is where things really changed. So Bullstrap, if you guys have ever used them or seen pictures or anything like that, they've always had this cutout on the bottom here for the charger and speaker cutouts, you know, which I personally didn't mind. I like both styles here. Um, but a lot of people, including myself, wanted to see a bullstrap version with a closed bottom because the leather is so good. It's there's such premium quality cases that, you know, just having this protection on the bottom would pretty much make it a number one or at least very close to a number one leather case out there for your iPhone. So they had the open bottom. Now they finally closed it off and they did a great job. So let me pop the phone in here and show you guys kind of what we're working with. You get a very tight fit. You can feel it the minute you put the phone in. Very tight fit all the way around. Taking a look at the back here, this camera protection here, which is all leather, just like their previous version, does give you a little bit of clearance for the lenses. Not much. I would have liked to see a little bit more protection there for the lenses, but you do get some, you know, just a little bit of clearance. And then taking a look at the screen protection, you do get a lip that goes all the way around. Again, not much of a lip, but with a leather case, you're really not expecting a crazy amount of protection but you do get a small lip that does protect that screen if you do lay it face down. Taking a look at the buttons here, I mean, this is one of the places it shines. These buttons are very, very tactile. I definitely enjoy these. They're very clicky. On the opposite side here, you got your power button. Again, very tactile, so no issues with the buttons. Taking a look at the bottom here, everything lines up. I did notice that on the cutout here, if you guys can see, on the right side of my finger, it's very close to the charger port not enough to interfere with third-party chargers i just noticed that i can kind of see more of my iphone i can see an extra screw here so it didn't really line up 100 perfect that may just be my case but i just noticed that just something to point out it really doesn't bother me because all the chargers have worked that i've used so far so not a big deal as far as the fit goes i mean it is perfect you are not going to get any type of movement 
budging even by the buttons no type of movement no budging anything like that the bottom by the charger port no movement at all so the fit on this case all around the frame here is perfect popping the corners off i mean you get a thud leather cases aren't going to give you that satisfying snap that you get with some different materials but you do get a pretty good thud all the way around the fit is perfect you're not going to have any issues your phone's not going to go popping out of the case or anything like that these leather cases can definitely take a beating the leather is very it's not rough it's not coarse but it's just very thick it's very tough leather so you're not going to have any issues with the foam popping out the fit you're not going to have any issues with the leather kind of coming loose over time or sagging or anything like that so fit is a1 as far as the magsafe on the back if you have a leather wallet popping that on the back very good connection not going to have any issues with it sliding off if you have a magsafe battery pack popping that on the back again no movement at all you are not going to have an issue it definitely takes some force to pull that off of there so no issues with magsafe accessories i use my pataka car mount every single day it has not fallen off come loose spun around anything like that so magsafe accessories are perfect this definitely has strong enough magnets for your everyday needs and i mean all in all i love this case the andar aspen has been my number one leather case I mean, since the iPhone 15 Pro Max has come out, this may just beat it. I think I'm going to have to do an updated uh, top five or maybe even top 10 leather case to see where this one stands. But since I got this one a week ago, it has not come off my phone, except for the beginning of this video. It's been on my phone consistently, and I'm the type of person who will switch cases sometimes two, three times a day just because I like to you know, get get a feel for different ones, use different ones, and I review them for you guys. So I want to give you, you know, my honest opinion, and I don't want to just pop a case on one time for the video and say I like it or I don't like it. So I use these cases religiously day in and day out, but this bullstrap contemporary case just has me right now. It has not come off my phone. So if you guys are looking for a leather case, if you enjoy leather goods, leather accessories, definitely check out the bullstrap contemporary case. Even the bullstrap, you know, the previous version, if you prefer the cutout there, but this contemporary case is definitely up there with one of my top cases, top leather cases, and top cases in general. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It is going to be more expensive. It's going to run you about 80, 90 bucks. So a little bit pricey, but definitely worth it. You get what you pay for. So I will leave links down below if you guys want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, turn on that bell. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.